Hi, my name is Tara Raitler. I'm from Alexandria, Virginia. And I'm going to make hand-painted silk scarves with dog motifs, like this one, and 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 this one. And today, I'm going to make this one. Today, I'm going to make a scarf with a pug motif for my friend who has a pug named Pugnacious. <laughs> I start with a sketch that I made of the dog. I'm going to add angel wings to the dog and put stars around the different bodies of the pugs. I put them in a couple different positions. And now I'll take these drawings and rearrange how I'm going to have them on the silk. And you can't have a celestial scene without stars, which I'll go back and trace them with a thick permanent marker. This is my dog, Targa. She's my constant companion, and she likes to think that she helps when I'm painting scarves. Targa, you're so ferocious. Look at you. Continue. The next step is to put the actual drawings on the scarf. In order for the paper drawings not to stick to the actual scarf, I use a big plastic board. And now it's time to use the resist. Resist is a water-based substance that acts sort of like a fence when you're applying paint to different parts of the actual silk. Later in the process, when you wash it out, the lines will disappear. I like drawing pugs because I think they're very expressive. They have lots of wrinkles on their face and a funny expression. Dog hair, you gotta love it. It's everywhere when you have a golden retriever. The final step was adding the stars and also the planet that's in the middle of the piece. Now I'm all complete and ready to paint. I use small strips of scrap fabric that put around about every six inches around the scarf. Once that's complete, I put the scarf into the rack. I'm lucky to have an industrious dad who built me about 10 of these. It's important that the scarf is tight or all the dyes that are on the scarf will run into each other. And I don't want that. That looks pretty good. It's time to paint. It's a big, messy job, so I'm going to take my bracelets off. I use silk dyes. These I really like, and they make beautiful colors on the scarves. There's no silk dye that's a perfect pug color, so I have to mix it. I like to use sumi brushes because if you put it in the dye, you can get a broad stroke of color. Silk painting's a lot of watercolor. If you put a blob of color down, it just spreads all over the piece. I want to add salt. It makes really interesting designs. I put it down and wait for the surprise. One other thing I do is add chemical water. I finish painting. Now I'm going to remove all the salt. Since the scarf is dry, now I'm going to wrap it in newsprint and steam it for 30 minutes. Steaming this color sets the dye in the scarf and also makes it really brilliant. need a ribbon to keep it all together. There it is. Now my little package is in this big stock pot. It will boil and the steam permeates the little newsprint package and will set the color on the dye. It's important to put a towel between the two pieces of the pot. Condensation will form and you do not want any water to get on the package's newsprint. And I steam it for about 30 minutes. The time is up and my silk is ready. The 
resist is still on here. Once I put it in very hot water, it will disappear. Also, the wash will take away any excess dye that might be in the silk. It is really hot water. The resist lines are nice and white. The colors are really brilliant. Next step, I will put it in a softener. I'll dry it and iron it, and then it will be time to give it to my friend. Scarf is complete. Pugnacious is immortalized.